The USMLE Step 3 is a two-day exam that lasts 16 hours. We will focus on what to expect on day one of the Step 3, which is notoriously the more difficult day with a lot of Step 1 concepts. So let's get into what to expect on day one and what topics we should review. So day one starts with an optional five minute tutorial. It includes 232 multiple choice questions divided into six 60 minute blocks of 38 to 39 items. There is also a 45 minute break time allotted that you can use and divide however you please. But please note that the amount of time available for breaks may be increased if you finish a block early or if you choose to skip the optional tutorial. So essentially day one is purely multiple choice questions. You have six blocks and for each block you have 60 minutes to complete it. All in all, with all the time it takes to do the blocks and the break time, Day one will last about seven hours. So like I said before, USMLE step three is a two day exam. So you might be wondering what's on day one, what's on day two? Well, day one, you get tested on foundations of independent practice. While day two, you are tested on advanced clinical medicine. So let's take a closer look at what types of questions you will see on day one. Well, you can see either single question types or groups of two to three questions. On day one, you'll also see pharmaceutical ads or scientific abstracts. So these are the questions and they will appear as a two or three item set. And according to the USMLE, you won't see more than six of these types of question sets in the actual exam. Another question type is a patient chart. So the question would actually have an entire chart listed out for you and ask questions based on the patient's chart. So as you can probably tell, day one is the day where you'll be tested on all those biostats that is very, very predominant on the step three exam. So you definitely don't want to walk into the exam day, well, day one of step three, and not be prepared for those types of questions. And if you are enjoying this video so far, please be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe, and the notification bell, so that you never miss another video like this, and so that you don't miss where I discuss what to expect on day two of the USMLE Step 3. Now, if you go on USMLE.org, you can see that they have this pretty helpful table describing what competencies would be tested in the multiple choice questions on day one and on day two. So the majority of questions on day one will be about patient care diagnosis, which constitutes 33 to 36% of all the multiple choice questions that you will see on day one. So let's look at a breakdown of what is the patient care diagnosis. So first we have the lab or diagnostic studies which constitutes nine to 12% of the exam and diagnosis questions, which are six to 10% of the exam. And of course, questions about the history and physical exam, which are five to 9%. If you have any clinical experience or your intern currently, then answering the patient care diagnosis questions will definitely be the easier part of day one of the questions. Um, these question types are also similar to step 2 CK questions too. And next up, we have practice-based learning and improvement, which constitutes 11 to 13% of day one. 
So remember that you should definitely go on yosemite.org and check out the content outline. It's so, so important so that you can have a good understanding of what will be tested and what you can expect. Also, a bonus tip. Please be sure to do the free questions that are listed on yosemite.org for the step three. Next, we have applying foundational concepts, which constitutes 11 to 12% of day one. So as this name probably implies, these are the questions where it's going to be heavily, heavily, heavily like step one topics being tested. So let's take a closer look at this. So before you go into day one of step three, here are some step one topics that you need to review. First, you have to review your pharmacology. It's very common that you can be tested on mechanisms of actions of different drugs like antibiotics, anti-cancer medications. So if you did use Sketchy Farm while preparing for step one and step two CK, it probably would not be a bad idea to just do a quick review of that if you have the time. If you don't, then like I said, try to review antibiotics at least. Next, we have genetics. So be sure to review any genetic disorders and inheritance patterns as well. That is very, very, very crucial. Third, ensure that you review all the biochemistry disorders. So I really hope at this point that you did not like throw away your step one. Just go to the biochem section and scroll through and look for those different biochem disorders and do a quick review. And lastly, pediatrics. Okay, I know this sounds like so broad, but what I'm referring to are the things that can be easily confused, like immunodeficiency disorders. So those are the things that are very, very, very crucial for you to review, as well as developmental milestones and vaccinations too. So I know that there was like a big change in the question types for step one and step two CK, especially when it pertains to ethics. And it's no different for the Yosemite step three. So if you just made some amazing ethics notes, just please be sure to keep them with you because you need them for every single step. You will be tested on communication, professionalism, and patient safety on day one of exam day. And this constitutes seven to 9% of the questions. You will also be tested on concepts like understanding of biostatistics and epidemiology, population health, and interpretation of medical literature. So now you know the layout of the USMLE Step 3, what questions to expect, and what topics you'll be questioned on. But now you have to know what resources you must review before going into that exam. And of course we have UWorld. So that has approximately 1,600 questions right now. If you can go through the entirety of that question bank, that would be perfect. And next we have Anki. So there are many useful Step 3 Anki decks that can provide a very efficient and quick review of the Step 3 material. And lastly, we have your Step 2 CK notes. So <laughs> as you probably figured out, the Yosemite Step 3 is almost like a combination of Step 1 and Step 2 CK, as well as different concepts that you have learned during your intern year. So that's why it's very crucial that you review these resources. But at the start of this video, I mentioned that there are also some Step 1 topics, right? So here are the resources that you can review for those step one topics. So remember that at the back of your first aid for the assembly step one, there was this rapid review section. Well, you can just quickly go through that review section like a couple of days before your exam if you have time. And like I mentioned before, 
to go through sketchy form or like mechanisms of actions of antibiotics, anti-cancer drugs, or medications that you commonly use. Okay, so like I mentioned before, biostatistics is a huge part of the USMLA Step 3. So to review this efficiently, of course, there are so many YouTube videos on this topic. So you can just do a quick research in YouTube and you can find very helpful videos. Next, we have UWorld Biostats questions. And that costs about $25 and you get a breakdown of the basics of Biostats. Lastly, of course, we have the UWorld Step 3 question bank which has all those drug ads and abstracts that can appear, well not can, that will appear on exam day. And in case I haven't said it enough already, please, please, please remember that you have to, or at least try to, go through the entirety of the UWorld Step 3 Q Bank. That question bank is so crucial for not only learning, but also testing your knowledge with the UWorld self-assessments. And the NBME also has two self-assessments, NBME Form 5 and Form 6, where you can test your progress and basically see what types of questions the examiners like to ask you. So yeah, that brings me to the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to power up the like button hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you never miss another video like this.